Yesterday's first reading we heard Joseph and his brothers, their first meeting. That was from Genesis chapter 41. And today we are hearing from chapter 44, end of 44 and the beginning of 45. In between, few things happened. They went back. They had a conversation with uh, their father, Jacob. Now, today, it's very interesting. Again, they met his brother, Joseph. And Joseph asked about his father and um, about everything. And later now, Judah is having a personal conversation with um, Joseph. And there, Judah explained, we have an aged father, young brother, the child of his old age, and everything he said. And Joseph is very interesting. Judah also said, one of them, however, disappeared. And I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild bees. That's what his father still believes, Jacob. And the moment when he heard about his father, his sadness, Joseph could not control. Joseph started crying. Again, yesterday also I said, Joseph was a man with a, a loving, good heart. And Joseph cried, and the scripture says, all Egyptians heard his cry. You can imagine his depth of his uh, heart. And he was so sad and he cried. He was moved with pity. And after that, he revealed, I am Joseph. And the next thing, what did he do? He was consoling his brothers. Don't worry about what you have done to me. Only God sent me here before. Because God wants to save us. So that was the attitude of Joseph. Even in our life also, when situations, all the difficulties, when we go through, we also should have the attitude of Joseph. Because God can make everything for good. Romans 8.28. It's a very beautiful word of God. It says, God does everything for good, all those who love him. So when things happen, it's like a dots. Only at the end of the day, when we connect the dots, it will become a, you know, a beautiful picture. So moving from there, today's gospel. Again, gospel is also, yesterday we heard the first part, Matthew chapter 10. And today, the rest 7 to 15, it's beautiful. Jesus said, Jesus sent his disciples and he said to go and proclaim the kingdom of God is at hand. And Jesus gave a clear mission, drive out demons. The One of the striking thing, highlighted thing for me, like, Jesus said, without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Whenever we hear the word of God, there is a temptation or a tendency we can think about, oh, this is like 2,000 years ago, Jesus spoke to his apostles. No, Jesus is, it is today, now, Jesus is speaking to us, without cost you have received. Without cost, you are to give. We all have a unique, specific mission. And we should be generous. Whatever we have, all the talents, all the gifts, everything is a free gift of God. And we are not here on earth to own anything, though that's our default attitude. We try to own everything. And we don't want to serve. We don't want to give. But the kingdom of God is more we give, more we receive for eternal life. So that's a beautiful thing. And Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, again, grace is a free gift. 
1 Corinthians 4, 7 also St. Paul is asking, is there anything in your life not what God has not given to you? Everything is a gift. And uh, continued that beautiful passage, whatever town, village you enter, look for worthy person. So all the um, little details Jesus said, don't carry anything that shows you need to trust in God fully. We have to trust in God. God provides in his time, in his own way. So today's Mass, we can pray for this grace, especially to have that uh, awareness and knowledge. Everything is a gift of God. And we have a mission. We are called to give. We are called to fulfill that mission and also trust in God uh, constantly like a little child.